Hello, my believers. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Everyone that is watching me right now, I release the blessing of the living God upon you in the name of Jesus. Favor shall locate you. Favor shall locate you in Jesus' name. I really want to talk about this quickly because in my last episode, I told you guys, I said, God has done it. Worry no more. Your problems, your trials, your tribulations has ended. But one thing I would like you to understand and know, this is the ending of the year. It is time to give God thanksgiving. It is time to thank God for everything he has done from January to this time. It is the time of thanksgiving. I don't know what church you are attending. I don't know where you worship, but wherever you worship, if they are not doing thanksgiving, my dear, if there is no thanksgiving, go ahead and do thanksgiving by yourself. Take an offering. Dance in the front of the church. Dance with the choirs and offer God sacrifice. Tell God I thank you for all these years that you have been keeping me. Thank God for the life of your children. Thank God for your business. Thank God for everything that he has done for you. Because the remaining of this year will be favor, 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 favor upon favor upon you all that believe in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there is power in giving. There are some kind of giving that will just, God will just direct people to you and you just solve their problems. That is so wonderful. God loves a cheerful giver. You understand what I mean? Watch your neighbors around you. Look around you. Somebody not having food, give them food. This time is a time of thanksgiving. Look at your neighbor and say, this one is hungry, give him food. Give her food. You understand? Give her things and be happy and begin to praise God because God is about to open the windows of heaven above and begin to shower you blessings. I don't care who wants to believe or who does not want to believe or who wants to believe. This is a reality. The heaven is open ready. Angels are preparing your package. It is going to be distributed before the end of this year. Wake up right now, my brothers and my sisters. Wake up, my believers. Wake up and wake up very good. Turn to your neighbor. Turn to somebody in need and begin to give. It's not necessarily mean you have to go to the church, but you will go to the church if you want to go to the church. Wherever you feel like you want to do your thanksgiving, just go ahead and do it. And say, God, I thank you for the rest of the year. Let me tell you, if you do this, you will see how God will revolutionize your life. How God will turn your life around. This is going to be a testimony for every one of you that is watching me right now. If you believe, if you understand the power of thanksgiving, do you know what it is? If, if, if somebody gives you a gift or somebody appreciates you and you say thank you, do you know what you have done to that person? Do you know how happy, how joyful that person will be? Talk less of your father which is in heaven. Just say, my God, I thank you. I recognize the goodness that you have done to me. I recognize your mercy. I recognize your grace. Father, because of all this, I say thank you. Father, because of all this, I say thank you. Irrespective of what predicament that you are facing right now. Irrespective of what pain or tribulations you are facing right now. Just say thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you, God. And just look at somebody that does not have any clothes to wear. Take some clothes and say, take, I dash you. Look at homeless children. Say, take, take food, I give to you. Father, because you have given to me. Father, because... From January to this time, I did not die. Because from January to this time, I did not beg for food. Let me help people who are begging for food. Do something before the ending of this year. Let something be a testimony for you this year. And you will repeat after many days. Let me tell you, this is the ending of the year. Don't joke with it. It is very, very important. This is a prophetic movement. This is a prophetic movement. Join this movement because this movement is skyrocketing the way you will not understand. Brothers and sisters, 
believe in our Lord Jesus. He's so powerful. I don't know how to express it to you. If only I can play it as a movie for you so that you can understand because we have so many doubting Thomas so that you can understand how God works in our lives. This ending of this year, you will not see death in the name of Jesus. Your family will not see death in the name of Jesus. You will not cry a sorrowful tears in the name of Jesus. The remaining of this year shall be faithful to you. The remaining of this year shall be of joy and happiness to you. The remaining of this year shall be a year that you will reckon that, oh, my God is worthy to be praised. There is no one like him. I prophesy unto you that is watching me right now. It is well with you. It is well with you. You will not see shame. You will not see Deborah. It has ended. So shall it be. Keep praising God. Keep worshiping God. It is the time for thanksgiving. It is the time to show appreciation to God. Listen, let me tell you. God does not need your money. He does not need any food from you. If God needs money, he is the owner of everything. He will collect as many that he, he, he will. He will just order a whole Central Bank of America to shut down and he will take the money. But he does not need it. What does the Spirit of God want? A broken heart. A sincere heart. Jesus said, He said, When I was hungry, what did you do for me? When I was homeless, what did you do for me? When I had no clothes to put on, what did you do for me? Do you think he was talking about himself? No, he's talking about your brothers. He's talking about your sisters. He's talking about your neighbors. He's talking about the fellows that you see every day. What were you able to do to them? How many lives have you been able to transform? How many lives have you been able to put smile in their faces? These are the things that can't. These are the things that can't. When your hands are tight like this, nothing comes in. How will blessing comes in? You will eat that remaining one that is in your hand and everything will end. Then you start looking for more. Then you will not get. Be free. Be free because the Spirit of God is free. That is why I keep on praying for every one of you. I want God to distribute the power of the Holy Spirit upon every one of you that is watching me. So that there will be more happiness. So that there will be more free-minded people. So that we will be able together carry this family along. This is the believer's word. It's going to grow big. It's going to grow higher. Begin to follow because God is about to do a great thing in our life, not just me, you, you that is watching too. A greater thing is about to happen. And I want you to be part of it. Thank you everyone that is watching. Don't fail to do this. Well, it is for you. I have spoken. It is left for you to know what to do. On Sunday, this Sunday, make sure you do your Thanksgiving, whether in the church or anywhere. Anything you want to use to thank God, go ahead and do it. It is very important. The year is coming to an end. Let's give God his glory. Let's thank him for everything that he has been doing. Let us pray, my believers. Father, I worship you and I give you glory. I give you honor because you are great and marvelous. Because there is no one to be compared with you. In heaven and in earth, you remain a govine. Precious King, the year is coming to an end. Your children will not see sorrow. Your children will not see pain. There will be no death reckoning in the name of Jesus. For the remaining of this year until death do us part, Father, let your anointing never depart from us. Let the Holy Ghost that intercede for us never depart from us. Let favor be our portion. Let favor be our portion. Let your mercy that endureth forever begin to be our protection in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Put your hands of deliverance upon us 
so that at the end of the day, we will have the full cause to glorify your holy name. My King and my Maker, we reach out to everyone today in prayers that are in need of prayers. Father, whatsoever they are going through, Father, please discalate it to God and let your blessing reign in their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for our children. Wherever they are, O oh Lord, from the north, east, west, south, let your protection be upon them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that they will grow up and become useful to us in the name of Jesus. I release the blessing of the Lord upon your life. I release grace upon your life. I release favor upon your life. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting King. The God that answered by, by fire, be our God. And let your name be glorified. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we all have joined together in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, every one of you that is watching. God bless you. Continue to like and share this video for others to see, for others to hear, whosoever that wants to hear. And I will continue to give you the good news. I will continue to tell you the heart of our living God so that there will be no more pain. There will be no more suffering. That heavy loading that is in you will give it to God. There is no need for you to be carrying heavy load upon your head when you have someone that can take it from you. It is time to give it all unto him. Just, just say, God, I give it to you. I give it to you. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters. May God bless you. I leave you all in the hands of our living God. Until I see you again, God bless you.